want to do this really quick video on using the difference of squares to factor polynomials. Here's the idea of difference of squares. That if we take the quantity a plus b times the quantity a minus b, so we have a plus b here, a minus b here, if we multiply these two binomials, we're going to get this product here. If you just look at it using FOIL, it's actually pretty clear, I think. Let's just look at what that would look like, and then we'll follow it through. So what we're going to do is we'll do our FOIL here. It'd be A times A, right? Then A times negative B. And then we have B times A. And then B times B. And if we just follow that through and see what that might look like, it's actually pretty easy to see how this is going to work. And this is this pattern that's going to show up over and over. So a times a, just follow this one, is a squared, right? Then a times negative b is negative ab. The one thing I am doing here in my proof is that I'm putting these things in alphabetical order. And then I have b times a, and of course b times a, positive times a positive is a positive, And b times a is ab. And then lastly, we have a positive times a negative is a negative, And b times b is b squared. So look what happens here. What happens here? So this a squared is this a squared. And this b squared right here, this negative b squared is this one right here. Opposite b squared is this one. And then if you look carefully in the middle, negative ab plus ab cancels out, doesn't it? So there's our proof of that. And here's the application of a little bit. So this is a pattern that you're supposed to recognize. It will really, really help you. There are so many ways to factor. And this is one of those ways that if you can just recognize this pattern, it will help you so much. So let's see if we can't do this. So we take an example like this one right here. I have this function. We're going to factor this function. So factor. And we're going to factor y equals x squared minus 25. So I look at this for a second, and I'm saying, does it fit into this pattern? And I think that it does. x squared is x times x. Here's this negative sign here, right? This one here is this one right here. And then is 25 a perfect square? And I think that it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the a and the a and b values, but I'm just going to rewrite this if you don't mind. I'm going to say that x squared is x squared that this negative sign is this one, and then I'm going to rewrite my 25, if you don't mind, 25 is, well, it's 5 squared, isn't it? So I just rewrote this equation just to illustrate it to you. Now, maybe you can see that the value of a is, what number squared is x squared? Well, x is. What number squared is 20? Is this 25? Well, b is 5. And then I'm going to go back here, and I'm just going to fill in these blanks, right? And I had something here, something here. And then, look, this positive sign is this positive sign. And this negative sign is this negative sign. And then I'm going to start, then I'm going to go back to my A and B values and fill them in. So I have X plus 5. Because remember, it's A plus B, and we found A and B. And X and A minus B, so A is X and B is 5. And what I'm suggesting to you is that these, this times this equals this. And it does, doesn't it? x times x is this x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. I'm just doing the middle part to show it to you. 5 times x is positive 5x. So the middle part in FOIL, the O and the I part cancel out, don't they? And then positive 5 times negative 5 is, in fact, 25. Okay? So... It's really a pattern that you have to see. Let's see. Let's do this one. Tell me how you might rewrite this. So I give you this equation. I say that our function g of x. So this is our next example. Example 2. That g of x is equal to, how about this, 9y. No, it can't be y because it's g of x. 9x squared minus 49. This is a little bit trickier. A little bit trickier. Remember that we're looking at, whoa, hello. We're looking at trying to see if we have this. 9 is a perfect square. x squared is a perfect square. 
this negative sign right here is this negative sign right here. 49 is this. So I'm wondering, can we look at this like this a little bit? Can we look at this and say that what number squared is 9? Well, that's 3. What number squared is x squared? Well, that's x. So we have 3x squared. Remember that you are allowed to distribute exponents over multiplication. So this would be 3 squared, which is 9. This would be x squared, which is x squared. This negative sign is this one. And then what number squared is 49? And that would be 7 squared, wouldn't it? So I'm suggesting to you that another way to see this is this. Now, when you get really good at this, you're gonna, you won't be writing all this out. But what I'm trying to help you do right now is to picture how this actually works. So what we're looking for now, remember that we have a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So we're trying to create this out of this mess here. So the a value is, well, what number is being squared? Well, 3x is being squared. What number is being squared here for the b value, right? That's this b value here. And what number is being squared? That's 7. This would be a 7. And now this is kind of fit, but isn't it? Just fill in the blanks. So we have a plus sign here. And we have, and all I'm doing right now is I'm recreating this shell right here. And I'm, now I'm just going to go and I'm going to fill in those a and b values. 3x, so this is that 3x, 3x. Remember, a goes here also, so 3x goes here, right? b goes here and here. b is 7 and 7. And I'm suggesting to you that that is the same as g of x. And let's prove this one, if you don't mind. You're doing really well with this, hopefully. Now, remember, you can stop the video to make this work, uh, to take your time and, and go back over this and make sure it's the way you want. Let's, so let's do this foil here. 3x, I'm going to distribute here. So 3x times 3x is 9x squared. That's good news because that's this right here, right? Then we have 3x times negative 7 is negative 21x, isn't it? And that's kind of weird because we're not looking for any x values. We're looking for the x to be 0x's here. So that's kind of weird. But look, set positive 7 times positive 3x is positive 21x. It looks like that's going to cancel itself out. Then lastly, we're going to have positive 7 times negative 7 is negative 49. So again, these parts cancel out. That is, they equal 0. So when, I re when we rewrite this, we get right back to where we were. We get g of x is equal to 9x squared minus 49. So my, the idea here was to factor this thing out. And we were able to factor it. We recognized that. 9 is a perfect square, x squared is a perfect square, 49 is a perfect square, and to make sure, because this is difference of squares, we had to make sure there was a negative sign here, and there is. There are, there are different rules, but this is just one of them. Let's look at one more quickly. It's a little bit more difficult because it doesn't show itself quite so easily, so let's let this be our last example. Let's call this example 3, 1, 2, 3, example 3, and let's say that, I don't know, h of x is equal to... 28. Wow, it's a horrible 28. Sorry. 28x squared minus 63. Well, I'll tell you what. I look at this, and it does not look like the difference of squares at all to me. 28's not a perfect square. I see the negative sign, so that makes me think there might be some hope here. But 63 is certainly not a perfect square. So remember... Thinking about this rule and asking myself, does this work? Is a minus b times a plus b going to equal a squared minus b squared? And it is. It's just really weird. So what's looking for the greatest common factor here? What is the greatest common factor here between 28 and 63? Well, the greatest common factor, I believe, is 7. So I'm just going to do a rewrite here that h of x is equal to 7 times, well, 7 times what is 28? 7 times 4x, right? And 7, positive 7 times what is negative 63, so there's a negative sign. 7 times what? 7 times 9, right? That, that works good. So 7 times 9. This is looking a little bit more promising now because what I think now is I think that this right here, I think that this right here is this right here. So I'm looking at those two things, and I'm thinking, 
that this is this. And if that's true, then we should be able to factor it. Let's see if we can't do that. So let's do our rewrite again. So we get h of x is equal to 7 times, well, what's this, what number squared is 4 is, that would be 2. So 2x quantity squared minus 3 squared. Can you see it? Now we just look for our a's and b's. This, is, this list making thing really pays off, I think. So a is 2x. B is 3, isn't it? So I'm going to rewrite again. And we're going to say that it's, it's 7 times 2x, that's this one, minus, this minus sign is this minus sign, 3 times 2x plus 3. And we can talk about where we could go from there, but all I'm trying to show you right now is how to discover difference in squares. I hope this was helpful. Apply this to your homework. Let me know what questions you have, and uh, keep it up. Good work.